And we're here at the Capcom. Hi. Yes. So, so who are you? I'm Max Aout. I'm the founder and CEO at Mivo. And Mivo is the only camera in the market that's focused 100% on live streaming event. So for us, it's not a third feature. It's what we do both in the camera uh, app on iPhone and Android and in the hardware. Today, we've had a product already in the market for four years. And today, we're unveiling our new entry-level product called Mivo Start. 4K? Uh, 1080p. It's our entry-level mm -hmm. product. The other product, uh, Mivo Plus, is 4K. Um, and it is uh, streaming over Wi-Fi or, or uh, with our adapter for, for wide Ethernet, uh, streaming to all the major platform, either one at a time or with a subscription, all the same at the time. And what's key with this product is everything has been designed for a long-form event. So built in, you have a more than four hours of streaming battery. Uh, we've actually done tests where we've reached nearly six hours. Um, you have a great lens that's wide angle, so you can put the camera on a stage or in front of a stage, but there's no distortion uh, in terms of fisheye Can you zoom? Uh, the, this product does virtual zoom. Uh, this product is a simplified version for the mass market. It does not zoom. Um, so you can see a preview, this is a low latency uh, preview that surprised us, uh, we connected over Wi-Fi. So in the app you can stream to all of the, all of the platform. Uh, today we've also announced that we will support LinkedIn and Twitch. And we already have Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, has video. Yes, they've just started um, to stream on pages or personal page uh, for live video. Uh, and you can also record to the SD card. And you can preview, you can do graphics, uh, for example, adding a lower third, uh, as you can see there in the preview. And everything in our app and everything in our hardware is designed for people that need to stream live events, are more serious than using a phone, you know, need longer battery, they don't want to put their device on stage or something like that, um, but are not ready to invest in a full professional multi-camera setup. And that's where Mivo Start is, is the only product in the market if you need to live stream any kind of event, either as a consumer. What's the quality of the, the, ca the camera? The quality, so it's a 1080p sensor from Sony. <laughs> uh, we've also improved the low light sensitivity, that's uh, some of the feedback from our previous product for people doing concerts and indoor. Uh, and the lens, is, uh, we're very proud of the lens design because it has no, no fisheye yet, it's wide angle, um, and it's an all glass seven element uh, lens. All right. Uh, you started live stream, no? I'm one of the founders at live stream, correct. Yeah. When was that? Uh, 2008. So, <laughs> so um, how do you do that? How do you make a, like a video site? How do you what? How do you get all this bandwidth? How does that work? Did you mean the live stream in the so cloud? Much you mean in the cloud? You're talking about or to, to uh, make a live stream site website? Yes, of it's course. Like terabytes per second. Of course. Uh, so the live stream is a subscription service. So our customers, are, you know, pay a subscription. And because we have so many customers, uh, we obviously are buying bandwidth at a low price. So uh, it was harder at the beginning. Now it's a lot more affordable these days. And live stream has now been sold uh, to Vimeo. Uh, so it's part of Vimeo, uh, the video platform, and uh, Mivo is now spun out as its own company uh, based in Brooklyn. When did it become part of Vimeo? So Livestream, uh, which owned Mivo, became part of Vimeo in, uh, in October 2017, and then Mivo became its own company, uh, and that's when I got back involved in April this year. But last the, year. the one you launched four years ago has been selling well, right? Yeah, of course. So what's the main, is it now? Uh, the original Mivo is different. So what's the main difference? So ma many difference. Um, this one is one hour battery. Here you have uh, more than four hours of battery. Uh, this one does the zoom and crop, the virtual editing, and the 4K sensor. The new one is a 1080p, more for the mass market, and doesn't do the zoom and crop. Um, and we have also many improvements, such as USB-C. Uh, we have. Um, uh, three microphones, so we've, we've received a lot of customer feedback to improve the onboard microphone, and we have 3D spatial processing. Does um, it take the sound straight ahead? Uh, yeah, it can be informed basically based on who is speaking, so it's better at capturing sound from uh, people that are on the side and at greater distance, and also at removing echo and, uh, and like noise. We also have, that was a key customer feedback, 
you can plug in a uh, line and microphone in directly in the camera. Before it was a little bit complicated, no? Yeah, we had, uh, you had to use an Evo Boost adapter and then put a USB adapter. Now it's just with one product, this is Evo Star. Any microphone you want, wireless mic. Well, no wireless mic, any, anything that's a 3.5 millimeter input. Nice. Um, so you mentioned something about 4K. Yeah, the Mevo, the Mevo Plus has a 4K sensor. It can record one. in four. That's the previous one. This yeah. one is 1080p. So what's the price? 299. 299. It's uh, available for pre-order right now at Mevo.com, and it will ship in April 2020. But the previous one is uh, how much? 399, and then with the Boost accessory, it's another 150 dollar. And no subscription. No subscription needed. There are features that you can unlock with a subscription from Vimeo, such as streaming to many places at the same time, where it uses their cloud servers, and also uh, adding graphics to the stream. But for streaming to any place, including RTMP, and using all of the features that are not the graphics and the multi-destination streaming, uh, there is no subscription needed. But you can do that uh, with this one. You can, you can uh, add graphics just yes, for that. Yes, also, yeah. How do you load it in? Uh, through, through the app. app. Through the app. Cool. So, um, are you the most successful uh, solution for previous generation? I mean, I think in terms of uh, right now we have more than thirty thousand monthly active uh, Mevo Plus customer. So we've sold obviously a lot of that, and every month we have more than thirty thousand people in venues all around the world using it. Our new product, Mevo Start, is about how do we go beyond, you know, event organizer and businesses and opening up to uh, consumers that are interested to go beyond what uh, an iPhone and, and record event they might have in their life, but also, but also business events. One thing I'd love to see is uh, automatic multi-camera. Yes. Uh, you don't have that? Uh, the current product, um, we have actually a, a big... Uh, Sure. Sorry, you like to read it out. So this is uh, not yet released. Uh, we're showing it today. Uh, we will have a beta in Q2 and uh, probably release, you know, definitely before the end of the year. And it allows you to connect to multiple Mevo, either Mevo Plus or Start at the same time, and to switch uh, between them. So these are the Mevo there. So manually you switch, right? Yeah, it's not automated switching, it's manually. In the theory, current, you could do it the automatic. Product, from a single camera, you can do automated crop like and AI. switching. In the current product, Mevo Plus, you can do some so of that. So you could do it there, maybe? Yeah, we'll see. But the first step is an app for switching. The, the, the standard thing that we want to do is uh, one point at the presentation and the other person on the... and automatically go back and forth. I'm just trying to but maybe see this here and I... Sure. Thank you so much. Sorry, there.